Hi, I want to show you a tool I created for converting XML file to JavaScript. And this is my website. I will leave link in the description. Uh, I click uh, on download button and then click on downloaded archive and uh, here double click on MSI. Uh, click more info and anyway connect it's basically what it's doing it's installing tool on my uh, computer and you can see i have a shortcut on my desktop i double click on the shortcut you can close this. and here my tool is running i can click to select input xml file i can uh, specify oh for example like states xml connect next and in preview, it show me XML uh, data into JavaScript format. And I can save it. Uh, let's save it here to and name it um, XML from XMLGS. Yep. Save data saved from XMLGS. Now um, I can go to this folder. And I have created um, I have created test file HTML just to let's open it with Notepad or ah oh, not passes passes okay so here I created um, uh, HTML file. And I can add my JS file here from XML.js. And here I created simple JavaScript showing how can I access data I created from JavaScript, right? If I include this JS file into web page, I can access data from XML by this, like my XML data states. So let me save it and open it as HTML. You can see it given like uh, alert with the name of the state. And if I click F12 and in console, I can type my data and I can see states. And it's basically array. third state and I can access state subregion. Basically I am accessing all data that I have initially into my XML and I sh can show you what XML uh, looks like if I go to states um, documents it would call states XML. So you can see that this one, this XML was like uh, in following format, it contains records, state names, state code, and now the JavaScript I have created from this XML, it look like this. So every record is transformed into, it's all, the entire XML is just array, JavaScript array, with the uh, uh, called states, with the following fields like state name, state name, state code, state code. So basically all this XML is transformed into JavaScript. And I can now access my JavaScript from um, my HTML, right? And by like this, stay my data because like whole thing is called my data. And uh, states, it's array. I can access any. I can do for each because it's basically it's JavaScript array, so I can access and I can access a specific field and do all compilations and do everything. So what my tool will transform any XML, any XML into JavaScript. 
and then so you, you XML, if you XML will have different different um, tags, JavaScript will have different properties, and so in your when you're accessing this JavaScript file, you have to access specific field. So um, I will leave a link on my tool in the description. Give it a try and let me know if it works. Thank you.